Buckle up for the battle of Karens versus police. Enter the arena where entitlement challenges the force of law. From their exceptional ability to incite disorder to their unmatched prowess in heightening confrontations, this video delves into the complex dynamics between entitled individuals and law enforcement. A woman finds herself entangled in a precarious situation as she endeavors to wriggle her way out of a driving while intoxicated arrest. I'm, listen, listen, I'm going through a divorce. I got you. I, I don't right have the money to get out. Please. Are you saying you don't feel like you should be driving right now? Is that what you're saying, Miss? I'd rather just lay in my car and have someone pick I me up. I asked you a question. I'm good in my eyes. Okay. But I really don't want okay. in your eyes. So, to... what I'm trying to do right now, listen. <laughs> What I'm trying to do is to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay. If you're safe to drive, you're going to be on okay. your way. Okay. okay? Not but if you're not, I'm going to have to do my job and you're going to go to jail. But we're not to that point. Please, sir, so please. Stand right here, please. You can't give me a chance to let stand someone right here, pick me up. Please. Put help. your feet together for please. me, please. This cop arrests a firefighter for parking wrong while he is trying to save lives. The CHP is arresting engineer Gregoire for where he spotted the fire engine. A CHP officer handcuffs a Chula Vista firefighter on the scene of a crash. And tonight, we're hearing the reaction over the radio as the incident escalated. Thousands of comments on the CBS News 8 Facebook page and website outraged about a handcuffed firefighter in Chula Vista. Hey, I just want to, he's, he's arresting me. Chula Vista firefighter Jacob Gregoire calls for his supervisor. Only CBS News 8 has this heated exchange between the veteran firefighter and an unnamed CHP officer about the safety of where the fire truck is parked during a rollover accident. CHP has guidelines to safely clear the road, but you see it's up for debate who was in the wrong legally. Firefighters say they park at an angle to protect emergency crews, patients and drivers. Vegan activists staged a protest at a London store, making a statement by pouring milk on the floor. Yet, they seem to overlook the repercussions for the already struggling minimum wage workers, who will be tasked with cleaning milk from not only the surface, but also hard-to-reach areas under the coolers and shelves. These power tripping cops were all over this guy trying to arrest him without any reason or explanation. But then his mom swoops in and puts them in their place. Yeah. Your son is 18. Right? Yeah? Gonna... What was he doing? You can talk to him once he gets bailed out. I'm telling you? You can tell me whatever you want. I don't give a sh What was he doing? What was your probable He's cause to roll up to somebody He's on private adult. property? This is not private property. It is private property. No, it's you, not, man. The we town were, does not we, own we this. Were called here. But yeah, okay. We were called here. And that means okay. what? You wanted his ID? No. no what? Right now. I'm not going to tell you anything because it's an ongoing police investigation and your son is in the dump. Okay, cool. So, okay. Yeah, cool. Do yeah, the other kids' so parents know? We're, station, we talk about that. Yeah, we're not going to talk. I'm going to be writing complaints on every single yeah, one of you. you Especially you. Me? Yeah, you. What did I do? Because um, you f***ing cut me off to get over here to tell your little pig hut buddies. I, I cut you off? Yeah, you did. So this is where your son gets it from, man. Yeah. Makes sense. Because I taught my son not to talk to you guys because you guys take and twist every little thing to make it into a crime. If you f take him, you're the worst cops I've ever met. Name an ID. Name an ID. It's your policy. Yep. Name it. What? Show me it then. What you little uh, blue line f Oh, you don't like it? Yeah. You don't like it? You guys do it to everybody. Go ahead. Pull it out. 
Pull it out. Ooh, let's let's play flashlight war. Ooh, what? Move your jacket over next to that desecrated flag, and let's see your name, Walsh. What are you? Can't see yours. Name an ID. Name an ID. Name an ID. All right, settle down. No, move. Tell me your name. My name is Officer Maloney. Okay, was that so hard? What's your ID? Why are you being so difficult? Because you guys are arresting my son on Christmas Eve. Well, then he shouldn't have been doing what he was doing. What was he doing? I can't tell you. Fixing a f- quad? Huh? No. What was he doing? I Fixing a quad. Oh, okay. I'm a member of the public. I'm here asking the public servants. Bye, Walsh. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas. Don't crash or anything. He's over there, ma'am. Can I go talk to him? We're in the middle of the investigation. Oh, he, he's an 18-year-old. Watch out so your buddy doesn't, doesn't, doesn't run you over. Oh, God, like, he back. tried to just cut me off. He's an adult, unfortunately, man, right? So he can explain the charges and what's going on and what happened. Yeah, it's all bullshit. It's out. all bullshit. How do you know it's man? You have no idea what's going on? Because I was on the phone listening to you guys manhandle him. Was really? Him. Is my son in tears right now? I know. He's not crying as far as I know. He literally just got here. He just left my house. Sean, this is why you record every time. What's his name and ID? He won't identify himself. He's not going to adhere to your policy? Because I don't adhere to your policy. No, I, yeah, that's called the Fourth Amendment. Yes, it is. Being safe in your papers, property, and effects, which is you. You're laughing like you know what the f- What's the First Amendment? If you can tell me all five, I'll walk away. Well, well, tell me. You took an oath to it. Name all five parts of the First Amendment, and you got mom walking away, and you guys could do whatever you want. Go ahead. Run the plates in retaliation. It's all right. I got you doing it. Sean, what did they say you did? Yeah, what were you getting arrested for? Really? Yes. So I hope you have good PC. I really do. What was your RAS to try to get his uh, ID? What was your RAS? My what? Your reasonable, articulable suspicion that my son was uh, committing a crime, about to commit a crime, or did commit a crime. What was it? Like I said, ma'am, you're so No, what was it? I'm asking you. I'm a member of the public, asking my public servant. I can for you request this, dude. It don't really matter. You're just being difficult. You're just being difficult. You're the difficult one. I am the, you're damn straight. When it comes to my son, absolutely. I am dip, difficult. Yeah, and he's still mine. He still came from my body. So I will fight to the death for my kid. You got me right, sir. You got me right on the wrong day. Keep laughing. It's so funny. No, he's a pig. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. I know you like it, you loser. Yeah, go Yourself, your mom and your every family member you have, as well as Stop. yours. You. You're welcome. Stop. I'm sure you think about it every night when you do it to yourself. Stop. No, they can take it. You don't need to talk like Look that. Look at he's getting mad, breaking ice. You don't need to talk oh, it's that. affecting um. Oh, too bad we have the right to talk to these pigs. So, Sean, what are they arresting you for? Ask him. You have to ask him. Oh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take his rights away? It's called free, Sean. You have to ask them. What? Ask them what they're arresting you for. They need to tell you right now. They have. Ask, keep asking. Really? I got you on camera, Cole. Listen, my camera is uh, truth right here. Keep asking them. Keep asking them. Keep asking him, Sean. No. Go get the person that Ask for a supervisor. I am the supervisor, ma'am. Ask for a lieutenant. I'm the supervisor, ma'am. Ask for a male Karen is crying foul, alleging that the cops trespassed and violated his rights when they discovered drugs in his pants. Do shit. No, dude, you guys are violating my rights. No, we're not. You guys are violating my rights. No. No, you guys are on trespassing. Okay, yes, I got weed. So what? You guys are violating my rights. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, yes, you are. You guys came in with no trespass. I didn't tell you guys you could come in. No, get off my pockets, man. No, man. They did not ask to come in here. You guys are got violating Private. my rights. Are you There's some more weed. No, man. You guys are violating my rights. You had no reason to come in my yard. I didn't tell you guys you could. No, you didn't have to. 
Yeah, I, you're right. Sir. You guys are unlawfully in bed. Bro, get off my pants. Nope, I'm not going to get off the pants. Man, get no. off me, dude. Stop, away. stop, you. Man, get off my nuts, man. Yep. What the f? Man, stop, man. No, I'm not spreading. See, you guys are violating me. It's you guys are. Bump, take, give my phone to him. Man, get off my d, bro. Stop, but. Man, look at this. Sure man, they're harassing me. You have to make sure you don't have any weapons. Stop! Any I don't got no damn sh Stop! No, I'm not going nowhere. Go to my car. Nah, bro. Really? Yeah. Stop! Hey, chill, bro. Chill. Chill. No. Bro, chill out. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Bro, you guys, you guys just got on private property and arrested him. You guys didn't read no rights at all. No, y'all didn't read no rights at all. No. Oklahoma State Trooper boldly violates a man's civil rights on a live national broadcast. It all started with the trooper conducting a traffic stop. The man happened to be walking by the traffic stop and decided to exercise his right to free speech. So the cop violates his civil rights on live TV. Okay, it says got a little kick at it. So you got your driver's license? You guys heading home? Yes. Okay. What? Why are you mouthing? Mind you. Why don't you keep walking? Dude. Yeah, go ahead. We'll have a conversation with him. See y'all later. See what this gentleman wanted to obstruct during my traffic stop. You know it's against the law for you to interfere with me while I'm doing my business? Did you know that? It's called obstruction. I'm trying to talk to that driver. You're screaming and yelling at me and taking my attention off that driver. I finished with them, so now I'm up with you. What can I help you with, sir? Just think. No, you're saying something and you were yelling about it. Why are you guys patrolling? Normal streets when you're highway cops. Is that what we're called? Yeah. It is? Well, come over here. Let's see what it says on my car. Come on, I want to see if it says highway cops. It says highway patrol, right? We're on the highway patrol. Okay, so what's this say right here? State trooper. So, by the term state, what do you think that means? Step back up here for me. So, by the term state trooper, what do you think that means? What do you think that probably means? Jur that our jurisdiction is what? Everywhere. Within what border? The state. Thus, the term state officer trooper back right. to your previous question we're good you sure yes sir okay so we're apologize learned a little something right let's not yell at a state trooper sound good yes sir carry on sir what started as a simple parking ticket escalated when the police officer began asking questions that the woman refused to answer turning a minor issue into a larger problem my daughter you're under arrest for what why are you gonna arrest her misdemeanor occurred in his presence <laughs> You were just gonna give her a ticket. Now you wanted to escalate I it for what? Your dad, but sir, for what? Yeah, stop. Why do you gotta escalate? If you don't it? listen to me. You're gonna get additional charges for resisting the truck. So you are under arrest. Step on the parking. You handed her a ticket, and then you escalated it to get her to answer yes or no for no reason. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Then you're gonna get additional charge for resisting the truck. I'm not, I'm not resisting. I'm sitting. You're not listening. Who's the sarge? So step on the vehicle, please. Who's the sergeant? Sergeant Bandersack. So you're gonna arrest her over a. It is if you don't shut the court. You're not A persistent police officer employs a variety of tactics in a relentless attempt to enter a home, all without the legal authority of a warrant. It's hilarious. Let us in so we can check. You want to come in? Yes, please. I'm not coming in through the window. I'm not letting you in either way. Okay. But I'm just saying what the officer did. He acted like he was Blake's friend. I didn't know who's creeping right here next to me. Mm -hmm. So I asked him who he was. He said, I'm Blake's friend. Obviously, I can't see that well. Okay. Because I'm inside. Okay. And so he needs to make himself known that because I thought I was like some weird guy. Okay. Well, here's the deal. I'm Officer Balloon, San Augustine Police Department. Okay. Blake lives here, right? As far as I know, yeah. Okay. So here's the deal. We need to talk to Blake. Can you let us in? We're not here for you. I don't care whatever you're doing in here. I just want to see if Blake's here. That's it. I'm not gonna let you in. May I ask why not? Because I don't associate with the police or with Blake. 
Okay. I'm a neutral person here. Okay. Do you like having the cops at your house every single night? I don't know. I just got back. I don't know what you guys been doing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, here's the deal, dude. Here's the deal. Are you, I'm assuming you're recording me. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I really don't care about that. Here's mm -hmm. the deal. Yeah. We need to talk to Blake. Well, okay. All I can tell you is Blake is legit not here from what I see. Okay, well, everybody else has lied to me here. What have they said? They've said he's not here when he's been here. Oh. Well, I just got back okay. in town, so, so I cool. wouldn't know. So here's the deal. You let us in. We look in his room real quick. We're out of your hair. That's it. I don't care. I don't want to associate with you. I don't want to talk to you other than that. You can go about your business. Okay? I got mm -hmm. nothing for you. Okay? okay? I don't care what you're doing in here. Your business is your business. I need Blake. All I'm asking is that you let me look in his room real quick, and we're out of your hair. All right. I can stay here all night. Okay. I really don't care. Uh, as long as I know you're a good-looking, safe man. You're not going to be weird? Or... No, I'm not going to be weird. In fact, I would like to leave this place. Yeah, so I mean... if you would let me inside, just take a look at Blake's room real quick to verify he's not here, I will leave this place and probably not come back. Well, I'm not going to help you with that. Okay, so As... you and me are going to get real acquainted real quick. Me, I'm going to be here all night. As for, I'm gonna, the only thing I can tell you is his cat's not here. He's not here. I don't know if he's coming in when I'm not here, but I just okay, got why back. Why is his room open? I, that's what does I'm saying. He, he... Does he normally leave it open? No, he probably dipped out. He's gone. That's what I'm telling you guys. He always keeps his door locked. So he probably dipped out. His cat's not here. Is his Xbox and stuff here? His PlayStation? I have no idea. I don't... I didn't go inside his room. I just knocked and he didn't answer. Okay. And his cat's usually on the window when I was this morning. His cat's not there on the window. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you do what you gotta do. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not gonna help you either. Okay. All right, man. Super cool. Well, just so you're aware, if he's here and you're lying to me, you're going to jail too. All right. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you and me will get real well acquainted. Ten four. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right, Mr. Balloon. Balloon. ID number 2955. I'll see you here in a little bit. All right. Let's go. Dude looks like a balloon. This off-duty cop turns into a complete Kevin. He attempts to overpower a lady constable who is questioning his authority to partake in an eviction while off-duty. Yeah, don't, 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 don't,
I'm you, good. Okay. Um, so I, I don't I don't believe that you're good. Do you I realize am. Do you realize that you've been involved in an accident? No. No, you don't. You don't realize you've been involved in an accident. No. What What happened? I was still in an accident. You were in an accident. No. No. Okay. Well, I, I don't I don't believe you, ma'am. You You have got front end damage to the front of your vehicle. You said that you drove here. What's your mm -hmm. name, ma'am? Can I borrow your phone? Uh, I'm not gonna let you borrow my phone unless I know what who oh. you are. I think I just left my phone maybe with at my friend's house. At your friend's house? So yeah, did you go to your friend's house well. before or after the bike yeah, ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ride every we ride every day. We Wait, ride. Hey. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't have my phone. I think okay. I left. What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? I'll need to tell you my name. Well, you are currently being detained. What? For a motor vehicle accident. For what? You struck another vehicle with your vehicle. Uh, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Why do you say you didn't? I did not. Okay. Well, you just told me that you did. No, Because you I told did me not. that you drove, and then you've got witnesses that are stating that you hit another vehicle. I did not. I deny okay. it. I did not. So, what did... I'm Officer Ryan. First name is Andrew. I'm Officer Ryan. What, what's your name? Uh, Penelope. Penelope? What's your last name? Turns out Karen lied to the officer about her name. That's a first degree misdemeanor in the state of Ohio. Alright, um, are you, are you willing to do some uh, field tests for me to make sure that you're not intoxicated today? No, I'm no? not. I'm you're not intoxicated? I'm, no, I was riding bicycles. So I don't understand why you're not being cooperative with me. I'm not. Okay. I just then, needed a can of paint. I understand. <laughs> I see you got a can of paint. Mm. And it seems like you're also struggling to get out of here. I You don't can't. have your phone, you don't have your wallet, you don't have your your ID, your keys, anything. I do have my ID. Okay. All right. So, do you mind explaining to me what's going on? Why no. why you're not you're not I'm just cooperative? waiting for my husband because obviously I locked my keys in my car. Okay. So, you can be on your way. You are not. Do not touch me. Please do not touch me. You're under arrest for resisting. Resisting what? Resisting arrest. Yeah, you just stacking charges. I don't know. I didn't do anything, ma'am. These Karen moms were harassing a cop at the park because they couldn't get in due to the pandemic. The cop explained the situation, but the Karens wouldn't listen. They kept at it until one of the Karens went too far and got herself arrested. I have at not. any point? I have not. Okay, I don't do you want plan to. to people decide to... Ma'am, don't get mad at me. I'm not, I'm I'm just not we're here. frustrated. I'm trying to... Right. So this don't is the be deal. mad at us. We're just the moms are paying taxes and frustrated with this whole thing. I pay yeah. taxes too, and I'm All frustrated right. with it as well. But you got to leave the park. Uh, or what? Well, well, the playground. So we can be over there on the green grassy area. Absolutely. On the paths with It doesn't make sense to me. Whoever wants to this is the parks guy. He can tell you exactly what you can and can't do. I will tell you, the playground is closed. We, we told you that. Okay? The Where are you talking to this gentleman? Guys, you haven't read that the, the, the virus stays on plastic for like 72 hours or stuff like that? So it, so it doesn't stay on plastic in Costco or anywhere else places are open? With social this distancing? This is kind of a gotcha thing, isn't no, it? No, we have yeah, rights. Did you guys organize and do this? No, we're just tired of no, this. No, so all of you just showed up? All we all showed all up all here all so we could let our kids all play all and all have a play so day. It's, it's the mayor's order. Well, we showed up and it doesn't look close to us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just told you, exit the playground area. But we're not trespassing. Yeah. Are you going to not want to fight everyone for not social distancing? Ma'am. Are you going to are you going to Ma'am. You have five seconds. Okay, this is not... What is officer, you don't want to do that. Officer, you don't... Am I being arrested or detained? Am I arrested or detained? Someone call Idaho Freedom Foundation right now and get them on the phone. Call now. I, I'm recording. Someone else call. Okay, can you call? Her, her kids are here. Her kids are here. What is going to happen? Who's got her kids? This makes no sense. He is arresting her for being on a public playground. He is arresting her right now. Officer Fiscus. As a person, does this make sense to you? 
Officer, what is your name and badge number? Ma'am, you're going to step away from me. What is your name and badge number? He does not want to give his name or badge number. I asked him three times. Sergeant Fiscus just arrested her. She was standing. He arrested her. Who told you that? Behold this Kevin, who refuses to repeat himself, turning a simple act like answering the question, are you a U.S. citizen, into an exaggerated ordeal, making it the biggest problem in the world. Are you a U.S. citizen? What do you want me to do? How are you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Oh, uh, United States citizen, sir? I, I just answered that before I even rolled the window down. What was that? I, I answered you before I even rolled the window down. I well, I didn't hear you answer that because the window was up. Well, the window was cracked. I can't tell this thing. Look at the window is up. Are you a United States citizen, sir? I already answered you. I don't think I have to answer more than once. I'd like, like to just be sir, on my way. It's loud. There's a lot of trucks, sir. This thing prevented me from seeing that the window was cracked. Are you a United States citizen, sir? I, I'd like to be on my way. Sir, are you a United States citizen, sir? I, I'd like to be on my way. I answered your question once. I, I don't want to talk to you. I didn't hear you answer the question, sir. Uh, that's not I my had, fault. What was that? That's not my fault. Well, you need to... You need, I need to I didn't make it noisy. I didn't make it noisy outside for you. Somebody else did. Okay. I, that's not my problem. It's not my fault. Sir, I just like are to you a United States citizen, sir? I, I just like to be on my way. Sir, are you a United States citizen? Sir, may I sir, go? Sir, you're stopping traffic right now? I'm not trying to stop traffic. You just Can I go? No, you're going to park right there and so Where? until you answer a question. It's going to be right there, number one, behind that 18 wheeler. You're going to park right there and somebody okay. will meet you there outside, all right? By that ladder right there? Yes, sir. That's just where you want me right to park? There. Yes, sir. Hold traffic! He continues to make something small a big issue. Are you a U.S. citizen? I already answered the question. I answered it for him over there. It's not my fault if you guys can't hear. I'm not going to sit here and repeat myself over and over and over again. He's telling me that you wouldn't answer the question. I did answer the question. I told him I answered the question. He says he can't hear. Okay, the Supreme Court says we should not speak to law enforcement. I don't want to speak to you guys. I answered your question. I'd like to be on my way. If you didn't answer the question to him, sir, you're going to stay here until you answer the question. I did answer the question. I. Frank, can you answer it to me right now? I, I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm, I'm done uh, well, done you, talking. You know, If I'm under arrest or if I'm being detained, do, do what you got to do. I'll comply with any lawful order you give me. Okay. It's not my fault. It's noisy outside. You know, if, if that's a problem for you guys, you should do something why about it. Why is it such a problem? Do you want to put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to sit here and sit here, but you can just answer a simple question? Why is that so difficult? Why is it so, so much to ask? I'm just doing what the Supreme Court says we should do. Well, they they said citizens doing, should not answer questions from law enforcement. Huh? Okay. So, are you going to want to, you want to sit here all night? Is that what you want to do? Because we got all night. You're going to continue to detain me even though I already yes, answered the question. I'm going to put uh, spikes in front of your vehicle. You're not going to be able to move uh, until you answer the question. You don't need to do all that. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me I can go. Well, I'm going to do I'm it. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Answer the question. Very simple. Just answer the question. I already answered the question.
It's not my fault that the safety limit's driving by when you're, when you're trying to talk to me. I, I understand, okay? It's just frustrating, you know? That, it's that, frustrating to us because, look, it's a very simple question. And it's not a lot to ask for you to answer that question. And if you don't want to answer it, you're just going to have to sit here until it gets answered. I already answered the question. I only have to answer it one time. Okay, well, you let get somebody's attention when you're ready to, to talk to me. But in the meantime, can you get the spikes? I got it. I said, you don't need spikes. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me I can go. I'm, I, I, I don't break the law. And what is your name? I didn't get your name. Vela Rodriguez. I did answer the question. You know what? I got a camera right there that says I did. Hold on. Wait for the truck to go by. You said you had answered the question? I cannot hear you. It's very noisy with the 18-wheelers. I have to establish citizenship and hear you tell me. Just because you said you told me and I didn't hear you? I got a camera right there that says I did answer you. Despite the officers being calm, he still continues going. That's why I asked you. I can't play it back without my computer. I'm not being difficult. I just want my rights respected. Were you born in the United States? I just want my rights respected. At this point, I have the right to remain silent. I'm going to exercise my right to remain silent. You're not being arrested. You're not arrested yet. Okay, I'd like to have an attorney present during any and all question. Okay, well, you're going to stay here. You get somebody's attention when you, sometime, whenever you feel like you want to go down the road. Alright? I understand. And he still doesn't stop there. Let me know when the trucks are gone so you can hear what I'm about to say. You can hear me? I want to make sure you get it on film. Okay, when that truck comes by, you let me know and where you can hear it. And make sure you get it video. Okay, so that truck's not coming, right? You can hear what I'm saying? Okay. I love baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, and Chevrolet. Oh, you didn't get it right. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't get it right. No, you didn't get it right. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't get it right. I love baseball, apple pie, hot dogs, and Chevrolet. Why is this hard? Should you be proud to say that? 
I mean, I, I would. I mean, what, what is it difficult? Why is it so difficult to say that? You know, you don't need all these guys here. I'm not armed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. just going to go over here and sit and wait for you guys to do what you got to do. All right. In this clip, tensions run high as a woman unleashes her fury on a group of composed police officers. Despite her best efforts to provoke them, they maintain their professionalism. She boldly asserts herself as the smartest person they've ever crossed paths with. Let's roll the clip and watch this crazy encounter unfold. Are you on a new medication at all? No. Okay. I'm not. Okay. Is there anything that's changed? Who are you, Hastings? Yeah. I'm an officer of Portland Police. I'm an ECIT officer. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And you're really um, an expert. Well, I mean, I'm not a uh, psychiatrist or something. No, you're not. But, okay. And I'm the smartest person you have ever met. Okay. So get the f down f off of my. Ass. I have a finance with honors degree. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm also an attorney of law, and I know my rights. What's your bar number? I don't know that, douche. You don't know that? Coming out of my vagina. That's what you are. No, your behavior is very erratic. Oh, is it? And Jamie, every time we just try to have a normal conversation with you, it just goes right to insults. Um, is that against the law? Is no, it a, is but, against but the law to insult a man in blue? Do you understand it's how it's not a normal either. conversation? Uh, you guys get called yeah. it all the time. And why we're concerned? And you get and you take down the blacks and you get on video. That's false. Have a good day, Jamie. We're leaving. I want him arrested. We're, we're, we're face. Not, we're not taking a report to you, Jamie. Especially when you're going to scream like that. Have a good day. You know that let the officer back up. You want to go to jail? For what, disorderly sir? Conduct. Oh, Jamie, disorderly conduct. That, that type of attitude right there is probably going to end up in you up in the hospital. Just to let you know. Oh, I'm really afraid. Okay. I'm so know. afraid of you guys. You've got one or two things. You can go to jail for disorderly conduct, or you can go to the mental hospital. Which one would you like? Because those are your only two options. You, Hastings, you're going down. Okay. Your 401k or your 403b, consider a f***ing gone, because you have no retirement. Sure. Right. You get a pension, because mm -hmm. you're an employee of the state. Way to f***ing go. Same. You didn't put a dime in the stock market, you loser okay. just because you're a public employee you you deserve more than the private sector employees give me a break i have to deal with people that behave like this so oh I do god i am so sorry the best actress you've ever See. met you f you're going down douchebag douchebag you're going viral, face. I'm a big man, and I'm going to pull out my see how big it is, and I've got the biggest of them all. I've got the biggest of them all. Jamie, I'm going to ask you one time to get out of the way. Or what? You're going to go to the hospital. Based on the behavior that you're exhibiting, if you're not going to think rationally, and just move out of our way simply, and that's not a place that you want to go, we will take you there. Or jail, that's your second option. Or jail? Oh my God, I'm so afraid of jail. Ah. We don't want Aww. to Aww. Hastings. Oh, the little Hastings boy who got bullied. And so then he's going to be the big ass, or he's got a small penis, because he's a white man, and white men have small penis. Yeah, I'm racist against yeah, white absolutely. people. Should be racist against anybody. Oh, really? Says who? Why would you discriminate on people based on their color? I'm discriminating against you because you're a f face. Yep. Why? Why are you arresting me? Trans money back. The trans money. Watch as this dishonest cop approaches someone's door, makes false accusations, and refuses to leave the property. How would you have handled this situation? What? Hey, how you doing? 
Fine. Hey, so uh, we have a, a report filed with us about an incident with uh, you and one of your neighbors last week. What neighbor? Uh, down the road, a couple houses. They wanted to uh, file a report with. Uh, okay, an so, so what? What neighbor? It's the neighbor at sixty East Pawnee. Okay, I have no idea who that is. What happened? Okay, well, I was wondering if you could tell me what happened. I have no idea. Okay, well... So why didn't you tell me what they're alleging? Well, I want to get your words. I know... I have absolutely no okay. idea. well, so he said that you uh, had passed him on the road, obviously, illegally, because there's no passing, and then gave him a middle finger, and then when he, you guys showed up, you uh, yelled something about his kids. No idea. Okay, well... Basically, where we're at right now is, based off of his statement, I'm going to be filing charges for aggravated menacing against you. So, if you do want to make a statement, uh, you can call You're absolutely phone. insane. Okay, well, if you want to make a statement for your side of the story, I can give, leave you a witness statement. When did he say this happened? Uh, last week, sometime. I, oh, just sometime last week. Well, I okay. had it wrote down, so I don't... Okay, when, who is this person's name? Well, if you want to make a statement, you'll find it out when you receive the paperwork. I mean, his name is obviously really irrelevant to your side of the story. And there was no witness to this, obviously, because it never happened. Okay. So I'm just so that's asking your, you. That's your statement is that it never happened? Yeah. Okay, I'll write that down for you. If you change your mind, you can uh, get us a witness. We'll get you a witness. I don't even know who you're talking about. Okay. Oh. Okay. This guy's being stopped for crossing the street with green lights. Come on, how are these cops becoming more and more problematic? C-A-S-S-A-R-L-Y. So wait, you are giving me a warning, yeah. or? No. C A S S. A R L Y. A R L Y. A R L Y. Are you spelling your first name, Chris? Uh, it's Christian. C H. So you're not going to shoot me or anything, right? No. Because you seem pretty like. What's your address? Uh, right now I don't I don't have one. Okay. I'm actually homeless. Okay. So. So you're getting a citation for walking on the red and almost getting hit by that white car right there. Uh, no one almost hit me. Uh, can you see what it's where you want, but uh, my camera's on too. So. All right. So I'm, I'm just protecting myself so you just don't shoot me. Because you guys have been going crazy, man. No, we have not. Yes, you guys have. You guys are shooting innocent people and stuff like that. I have to protect myself. Okay, That's the only ahead. reason why this camera's on. What's the last part of your social, brother? It's uh, 5241. 5241. Got a phone number, Chris. Uh, five one six two two nine one five eight four. One five. Former military. Huh? Former military. Yes. They're right there. All right. Yeah, Chris, it's a money tag. Yeah, it's not a court tag. You're not getting something. All right. This Karen thinks she is being singled out. Hey! Hey! Meet these Karen and Kevin cops. They assault this man for not showing his ID. I guess they run a nationwide checks, all of that. I already know what they're doing. I've been through this harassment and taunting from police like all my life. And I'm in the most racist state there is. Other than socialists, we already know about them clans. Where my daddy had to go through that, have their guess who it was, guess who they was. They was the police, the gang warders, and everything else messing with me. 
How are y'all gonna help me with the uh, truck vehicle? Ain't that what y'all came for? You won't tell me what's wrong with it. And ain't nothing wrong with it. That's what I was telling y'all from the get-go. I was wondering why y'all messing with me. Because this is a county park. So somebody can't be parked there? We're coming to check on you for your well-being. Well, well right. my well-being looked like you were trying to lock me up for my well-being. I have to make sure you're not wanted. I'm not wanted, but if I'm not here, why do you need help? Why do I need your help? No, but that's the whole thing about it. Y'all ain't got to know me. That's This is what y'all know and hate. What is that? My skin. Y'all see me in my truck right here with my, and, and y'all don't like it, the fact that I'm black, and I'm out here on y'all county property, quote unquote, and y'all, that gives y'all the right to harass me. We're not going to go there. Do you, would you like help or not? I don't need help. I didn't never ask for it. Prepare yourself for an expansive and enlightening odyssey into the depths of Scientology, where you'll uncover a plethora of insights. As a bonus, you'll also be introduced to the vigilant security guard standing watch over the Scientology building, adding a personal touch to your exploration. Over here are a billion people, and they dropped them in a vol volcano. This is this religion, this is what they believe. They dropped those frozen popsicle people in a volcano, and then dropped like an atomic bomb on it. Right, you with me, you stand with me, right? And essentially the souls from those people went up in the air and I guess they got intercepted and spun out and they were flung all over earth and then they attached to us, to the people. So we got these, how do they call them, Thetans? There they are, oh, look at them. He's like, oh man, look at that, he's out there guys, he's out there. So anyway, they flung these souls of these people, these popsicle people that they put in the volcano and, and use an atomic weapon on them. Those souls got flung out and they attached to us. And so their whole goal is to unattach those souls from us, those Thetans. They want to, we have to unattach, have those unattached from us. And then once we do that, I'll be honest with you, they say that they live forever. They live forever, that's what they think. <laughs> You know, it's a wild story, right? Now, I'll go to the movies and see that story. I will. I, I Maybe, probably not. I probably won't, to be honest with you. But it's just one of those stories you say, okay, you know, it's kind of goofy. But imagine hearing that story and saying, oh my God, I love it so much. It all makes sense now. Now, I'm gonna give my life to this. And I mean, I'm not just gonna join it like a regular religion. I mean, I'm gonna completely give it all. All my money give up my family, give up my friends, go join this place, hop on the bus, on the spaceship, on the, on the Space Navy ship, and hop on that bus, go back to this apartment building, I guess just read Dianetics nonstop, and then come back to work every day, over here at this building, and work six, seven days a week, make absolutely no money as you keep on learning more and more about that story I just told you. I mean, that's just a little, that's just a tiny bit. That's a tiny bit. I mean, it keeps on going on. I mean, you want to look at what their so-called Bible looks like. If you just Google operating thetans, I mean, it's 1018 now. I've, they're a little delayed. I think they're going to get a little less sleep. Oh, God. Look at this guy. Mr. Goody, what's the problem? Uh, see, they call me out my name. What's my problem? I have no problem. Do you have a problem? You got the camera on me. Okay, there you go. I was minding my business. I didn't ask you to come over here. If you want to keep me company, knock yourself out. I don't really care. I'm not really interested. Okay, good. This is I, like you're harassing people. This is not harassment. This yep, is, it is. I am educating the public about a cult. Your cult. And then this officer fun time shows up. I mean, just because you want to be in a cult, I think the public has a right to know. Matter of you fact... You don't care about a cult or anything. You care about LAPD. That's all over your Twitter page. That's what you do in life. That's all I do in life? But what yeah. you do in life is you're a security guard in life. No, I'm not. Uh, I mean, literally, literally, you are a security guard for the Scientologists. That's the dumbest thing you could say, man. You are literally a security guard for the Scientologists. 
<laughs> you're literally you're you're literally a security guard for this. You gave your life this. You signed a billion year contract, and you're saying something's dumb. And I did. You signed a What's billion a billion years. So I'm gonna read to you. And you, and you I'm gonna read to OET8 because it says here if I read OT8 to you. See, they think that if you read, so they have these different levels. It's not OT. OT well, mind your, mind your business. It's not OT. Mind your business. I'm, to, I'm in. It's not OT. You wouldn't know because it's, it's not OT. your level. You're below it. And so you what I'm know saying, either because you don't. Because know I have the operating OT. thetan, and I'm going to show it to you, you right know, now. You don't and don't know in, possibly, if you believe what it you says, you will explode in flames. Will you explode in What's flames if you learn? I don't care. What's the definition of Scientology? Cult. It's you called a cult. It's called a cult. The definition of Scientology is called a cult. The it's definition, not. Mr. Goody. That, the you definition. Have more important things to do than I don't have more important things to do than to shut down a cult. I don't. You know why? Really? Because these people are unhappy. A lot of them are unhappy being really? in your cult, How and they would like met? to leave. And imagine, you How know what? Why met? do you? Why are you security guard? Why How do they? Need, what? Secu why do you How need security? Why do you need security? Why do you need security? How many have you met? Why does Scientology need security to make sure they don't run off? You're here to make sure they don't run off. You make sure that they get on the bus. You it's know called exactly goo. Why. It's not goody. It's goo. It's goo. Mr. Goo? goo? There you, you know go. exactly why. There you There's go. security here. Exactly why. Right. To make sure they don't We're run off. Hollywood Boulevard. To make sure they don't run off. We're in Hollywood Boulevard. To make Boulevard. sure they don't run What's off. What's the crime rate? To make sure they the don't run rate? off. To make sure that... What, What's the, the crime rate? Scientology, Scientology the crime, crime rate is very high. You know that. You know, you know that. Danny Masterson? Danny Masterson? What's the crime What's the crime rate of Danny Masterson, huh? Who do you... Let's talk about the child trafficking, the, the human trafficking. It's super high and because of Scientology. This is not a rascal. You're in my face. You're touching me. You I'm literally not. put your hands I'm on my camera. Away. And you're moving forward. I've been here. I've so been in the same no spot the whole time. Now let's talk about the crime rate in, in Hollywood. Let's go down let's here. Let's talk about the Scientology let's crime Let's go down here. Right, because you don't want me to look at these guys going on a bus. You want to sit there and hide them going I mean, on a bus. Why do you want to hide them? It's harassment. What are you going to do about it? What are you gonna do about it? It's harassment. It's called, well, it's subjective, because I call it a first amendment. I call it informative. You call it harassment. But the difference is, taking, the truth is on my side. The truth is on my it's side. Not truth, though. The truth is on my it's side. Not truth. Well, you know what? It's not truth. What's take, you've never I'm going to let people see what it's you've like never a day in the life. You've never when these people, it. I'm a, they're gonna experience it right now. We're gonna show you them. You have never experienced it. I don't yourself. care. Who would want to? Who would want to? Who would want to else? put your billion dollar contract? Go do something else. Do me a favor, stop stepping forward. Step out of my space, take a step back. Do not step forward again. If you step forward into my space again, I will take that as an act of aggression. Do you understand me? On camera. Well, I'm on, you you're on something? camera. You do you're being live streamed. I told I'm you, do not take a, another I'm step toward me. Now you see where it is. Do I'm not take another step sidewalk. toward me. Do not come in my space. Sidewalk, exactly. Like as I am. And you know what? I'm going to get a you good look. And you know what I'm going to do? Every person that comes through here, I'm going to give them a chance to talk to their family. But nobody is, as they go on the bus. talking to anybody. Uh, oh, do but you, you. Wait, wait. Are you, you. are you telling me that they will not? Are you telling me that? You're deciding for them. No, I'm not. Okay, but well, we're going to let them decide. It's a public sidewalk and it's a freedom of speech, right? There you go, big guy. There Get you the go. Band. Look at them wobbling. Look at them. Oh, this guy's hiding. You can walk. You can jog. Uh, mind your bus. Mind your, I run marathons. You jog, man. So what, you insult me because I walk? You just said, you, you know, the thing is, my guy. You, you don't even my, Get out of my face. I told you to get out of my face. Do I'm not do sidewalk, it. Dude. I take that as a sign of it. If you come into my space. Right. I'm and I'm on a sidewalk. sidewalk. But if you come into my you're space. Being mind your business. And you're being so go filmed. somewhere else. You're being my. No. Go it's somewhere a, else. It's a public sidewalk, like you said, right? And now the thrilling conclusion. I'm you go, talking to genius. You. You're the That's why you're a security. You are eight, like 50, 60 years old as, as a security guard for a Scientology. Now look at them. They're leaving to go around the block. Everybody's delayed because of you. Look at them going back there. Everybody's delayed because of you. Definitely your, yeah, bad, bad, bad. That's why you're, you're a, you are a security guard, buddy. Mind your business. Mind your business. Good. I told you it's not goody. It's good. You're going to say my name. You say my name right. Like nobody knows my name. Like I'm not a activist out here like i'm not the number one lapd critic out here you wouldn't know you're locked in a cult you wouldn't even know the cult is scientology the thing that you're in look at you you signed a billion year contract and you're saying it's not a cult it's not a cult you signed a billion year contract it's not a cult, not a cult. are you gonna step in my space again are you, gonna, are you going to we're, we're, we're are you going to sidewalk. wobble into my space again we're on sidewalk I can do whatever the hell I want. Oh, okay. There you go. So can I. Remember that goes both ways, buddy. Remember it goes both ways. But remember something? I'm going to tell you right now. Actually, I'm going to end your religion. Your religion is going to end because of me. I'm going to end you guys.
Yes, you are. Definitely not. Yes, you are. Look at that face. Look at that. Goofy. I told you I'm going to end your religion. Billion year. Oh, wow. They're going to walk down the block, guys. So remember, I told you I'm a marathon runner, right? Bye. I'll see you later. Look at them. If you guys want help out, I'll help you out. You know you don't like this life. Don't you miss your families? Don't you miss your families? You miss your families, don't you? Look at them. Guys. Scientologists, they're cold. You see, look at them. They're cold. They can't talk to their family. The security guard won't let them talk to their families. This security guard, this guy, what are you from France? Up, uh, up. Uh. Sidewalk, look, he's trying to block me from getting on the sidewalk. Look at this. You are so goofy. I saw a poster of you written in French. I found it on facial recognition. If you want me to reach out to your families, I will. There are better things in life than this. There are better things in life than this. It's a good look for you guys. Imagine being a religion where you have to be so secretive and prevent, prevent. They're not really doing anything to me. They just don't want them speaking. They've been hijacked. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, you have a great one. You have a great one. I do a couple things in this town. I'm a cop watcher. Probably the LAPD's one of the top critics of the LAPD. I'm also a government accountability activist. I go after the mayor. I go after city council for the wasteful spending, for the ineffective policies, and for the outright corruption. And it's an enormous amount of corruption, all of them, Karen Bass, the entire city council. I believe in just standing up for what's right. And I don't think what they're doing is right. And nobody stands up to them. Everybody's scared of them because of a perception of harassment. But like I said, they're a paper tiger. What they're used to doing is running to the LAPD, have a great relationship back under Captain Palka, who did his best to protect Scientology, but also Les Moonves of, what was it, CBS? Their specialty back then was covering up, covering up sexual assaults. So they've had a relationship with them, and Scientology usually has LAPD PD do their dirty work. They hire off-duty LAPD to do an investigative work, which is actually against LAPD policy to work as a private investigator. But then they also hire ex-LAPD to investigate all their victims, like Danny Masterson's victims. Somehow Danny Masterson his attorney, oh, you get out of my face. You, you think you're scaring somebody goofy? You think you're really gonna scare somebody goofy? Or walk toward me and swerve? Swerve, that's right, you better get out of my way. You're kidding me. Yeah. Shut, oh, shut your mouth, shut your mouth. Sidewalk, and, and then again, Boulevard. and you're not scaring and anybody. Boulevard. What is that little flashlight? You're not scaring anybody. Watches this erratic Karen hits a man's car hood with her bike and goes into a fit when he confronts her. 